Hi, I'm Ree from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel and another grocery haul. Now this is an absolutely enormous grocery haul because I've gone a little bit longer than normal in between my grocery hauls. And as you know, if you've watched previous ones, then I do like to have an item in stock plus a backup item. And obviously that goes for anything that isn't, you know, really sort of date sensitive. But anything that doesn't go off quickly, I do like to have this one and a backup kind of system and it's been so long since i've had a grocery order that i've been eating into my backups so a lot of the stuff i bought today is for sort of using this week plus to replace my backup item hence why there's so much stuff here anyway if you are new here welcome please subscribe hit the bell to be notified when i post new videos every tuesday thursday and sunday at 7 pm i do loads of grocery hauls shopping hauls shop with me i've got a whole home renovation series because we're doing up a whole house start to finish so you've got that to look at as well as parenting tips tricks hacks and advice and day in the lives just loads of stuff speak cleaning all that stuff so without further ado let me show you all the things that i have bought in this massive haul Starting over here with fresh stuff. So we have got some peppers. I have been buying the loose peppers. I bought the loose peppers in my last haul and I did find them just much bigger compared to the ones in the pack anyway and obviously less packaging, so that's good. So I have got six of those because I've got a few things that I'm doing this week with peppers. I will do um, fajitas. Um, I will possibly do enchiladas later in the week as well but um peppers really go in anything i mean like yesterday i made a chili and i had some peppers that needed to be used up so i chuck pick chopped them up and chucked them in there as well so peppers go in loads and loads of things i have got six jacket potatoes now i must say these are not as big as the ones i just reordered the ones i had before the ones i had before were literally twice the size of this so i mean i've probably paid less for them i will check on the uh, receipt but they're not as big. My husband is going to be like, oh, where's the rest of my potato? So six of those. Uh, but yeah, a little bit disappointed with the size. Uh, on to onions. Uh, now, a few of these bits that were loose did come in these bags. But I actually just debagged them and gave them back to the Tesco driver to recycle. So that I don't have to bother doing that. But it is still, I feel less packaging when they bag them like this than when it's kind of like this. Anyway, I've got onions. Now these are going in a lot of things that I'm making. I'll go through everything that I'm doing this week. Fajitas being one of them. Jacket potatoes with just cheese and beans for a really easy night being another one of them. But um, onions will go in a spaghetti bolognese. Onions will obviously go in the fajitas. Onions will go in the chili. Um, I will probably do later in the week. Onions go in loads and loads of things, don't they? Let's face it, who doesn't love an onion? Um, and then we've got cucumber which I will just chop up for on the side of some meals. The children quite like this if I cut it into sticks. I just like it on the side of things. Um, salad tomatoes, which I like on the side of my food, but also I do chop up and pop in things like chili, for example, if um, they sort of need using and they haven't used them in the kind of salad capacity and they kind of need eating up. So got those as well. Um, I've got these. These were two for a price. A price that I shall put on the screen now. These, again, I put these in kind of Mexican dishes like fajitas and enchiladas. I just chop them up and chuck them in with the peppers and the chicken and things. Um, I will also just put them in the steamer and stick them on the side of other things. For example, Sunday dinner um, or even if I'm just doing sweet and sour, just stick those on the side so the children are actually having some veggies. Carrot batten, yes, I know I could just buy actual carrots, but you know, these are already chopped up and when the children just want a snack, I can just chuck some of those in a bowl, it's super, super quick and easy. On to fruit, I have already got some bananas that I picked up locally yesterday, but other than that, they ate all of the fruit. <laughs> so we're in desperado need of this fruit. So we've got a squillion bananas. We all know I'm not a massive fan of bananas. I don't share this information with my children. I personally think they're smelly and squidgy and disgusting, but the children love them, so I buy them. Pink Lady Apples. I'm struggling to get these locally. I've tried to pick these up locally a couple of times, and they seem to be, I don't know if they're out of season or something. Pink Lady Apples are the only ones that my children are like, I love these apples. If I buy anything else, they're like, ugh, what's this muck? So, yeah, they do come in these funny bags. I don't know. Are Pink Ladies out of season? Is that why they're difficult to get other places? Because I did try and pick some up. Um, yesterday when we ran out of some, but no, nothing. 
on to raspberries. I literally rinse them, chuck them in a bowl. Um, now these will be need eating the next couple of days, but they will not last a couple of days because they will last for one post meal dessert. And then strawberries, I just chop the greeny bits off them and chop them up and put those in a bowl. There's not a million of those in there anyway, um, but I will pop those in a bowl after tea one day and the children will snack on those. So I will probably give them these for like an after dinner snack first because the other fruit seems to last a bit longer. Then we're on to the sweet easy peelers. Easy peelers are life because who has got time in their lives to have a little fight with an orange? and then still get left with that manky white stuff all over it and not want to eat it. Sweet, easy peelers that kind of fall apart in your hands all the way forward. Okay, on to what we're on to now, meat. Now, ham, for some reason, I have ended up with two types of ham. This is mostly me just being a Muppet. I had a guess, I added ham to my basket, then I thought, oh, I haven't added ham to my basket, and added more again. So, it's not the end of the world, <laughs> it's just a bit daft. I mean, it'll all get eaten, especially on the weekend when all the children are home, they go through that like mad. They like ham with, um, in fact, I'll go through some lunch things that we're doing as well, but basically that'll be lunches for Zara during the week and for all of the children when they're home. Bought these cocktail sausages, or cocktails as my children call them. If you caught Zara's interview with a three-year-old, she actually said one of her favorite foods was cocktails and obviously everyone thought she meant like a cocktails. This is what they mean. So certainly on the weekends when I kind of put like a plowmancy lunch out for them and I put out ham and cheese and bread and wraps and fruit, they also have cocktail sausages in that kind of lunch. So that's what that's all about. Um, there we go on to mints. I'm planning to do a bolognese with this and some of the onions. Um, so that I've got some other bits and pieces already um, for like dry things for bolognese. Um, I've got the pasta already, so I didn't need to buy that, but needed the mince. And then I've got two packets of the diced chicken breast. The diced chicken breast, uh, when I'm doing things like um, stuff that needs to be cut up, like for example, sweet and sour chicken or chicken fajitas, the diced chicken breast actually works out cheaper per kilo anyway. So I like buying that and it saves me chopping it up. So easy peasy for that. Then on to dairy up here, we've got the standard, pretty standard four pence of milk. I have bought some sliced cheese for just when I just want to grab a slice of it for Zara's lunch, but I've also bought blocks of cheese. I do often buy grated cheese, but on this occasion, I'm just going to use this to grate it, which, yeah, takes another few minutes. I mean, be careful, because I have pre previously grated my wrist with this. Don't do that. Be careful, people. But I just grate it into there and uh, put the lid on the box, and then that can go in the fridge for any spare grated cheese. So yeah, it does take a little bit longer, but it does work out cheaper to buy the cheese that way. And then I've also got some Peppa Pig yogurts for the Littleys because they love everything with Peppa Pig on it. On to Frozen, and now this is the kind of stuff where, as you can see, I've bought two of things because I've been eating into my backup supplies. So pizzas, these are, I think they're three for four pounds. I believe they are, I'll put that on screen if I'm wrong. Um, but basically we've got ham and pineapple, we've got a stone baked cheese, and we've got the barbecue meat feast. So I bought two sets of these purely because tonight is swimming night. So I will feed them one set of these tonight. And then obviously I will still have some as backups. I also bought a mushroom pizza because Lil Zaza loves her mushroom pizza. Um, I like it, none of the other children like it. They have to pick off the mushrooms, which seems a bit silly. But I have bought her one, because she does enjoy a mushroom pizza, even if she is the only one that pretty much eats it. Then we've got a big bag of battered chicken dippers. We have got, go on to this next, because this is another super quick and easy tea. I do, if I'm need, doing a super quick and easy tea, and I'm really short on time, I put some pasta into this thing, which I shall link below. I put some pasta in there and the peas in there. I cover it with boiling water and chuck it in the microwave for 12 minutes. And then the pasta and peas come out done. In the meantime, I've got some of these in the oven. And then when the pasta and the peas come out done, 
I just mix in some pesto, which incidentally, I had just realized, I think I've forgotten to buy pesto, which is really annoying. Um, so that throws out one of my plans, but this is a really, really quick meal. So you, you mix in the pesto with the pasta and the peas and a bit of grated cheese, some of those on the side, done. So you know another like, you've come in from an activity night, you've got no time at all. That is such a quick and easy tea and it gives them some veggies, it gives them some carbs, it gives them some calcium, it gives them some protein. It, it's all in there. You know, it's it's not master chef, but it works. Then on to some chicken dinner bits. I have got some super quick and easy chuck them in roast potatoes. I've got two bags of stuffing balls because I haven't got a backup bag. I've got sliced carrots for if they have used up all of the um, carrots over there that I've bought. If they've all of those have been used up, then I've still got these as a backup in the freezer. And I've also got the Yorkshire puddings, which I don't fuss on your Yorkshire pudding, I must admit. I don't eat them. The rest of my family thinks that they're the best thing in the world ever. And then we've got set two bags of the nicest chips I think that they are. Let me know which frozen chips you like best. I think these just turn out nicely every time. They don't feel greasy, but they're always nice and crispy. And I've got Scampi. I'll probably feed that to my husband when the children are having pizza because he doesn't like pizza, which is strange. I mean, who doesn't like pizza other than my strange husband? And then as a treat for breakfast on the weekend, I've got these pan au chocolat. They just go into the oven. They come out, you know, as nice as you get them from a bakery. And then I've got chicken breast fillets. Now, full disclosure, I have not yet tried the chicken breast fillets that I bought last time. And I didn't realize I'd added these to my order, so I sort of bought them by accident. So that's two things I've bought by accident now. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not the end of the world. I didn't send them back because I will use those. But I still haven't tried them, so I still can't comment on whether they are as good as the fresh or not. On to dry products. We have got two packs of plain mini naans. I just sprinkle some water on these and put them in the oven and I have these on the side of when I do curry, which I will be doing with some of the chicken and the onions that I've already shown you, as well as some of the other ingredients I already have in the cupboard. So that's what those are for. And then I've got two packs of these. The date on these is really good. The date on these is August. So that's ages, isn't it? But when you open them, you have to either freeze them or use them. So when you kind of undo the vacuum seal, but to be honest, I just cook the six at once. So I either do one for Zara and then take the rest of the children for an after school snack or on the weekends, if all the children are home, I'll just cook all 12. And they really like those. They kind of, they sort of come out of the oven as nice as if they're fresh from the bakery. So. That is quite a nice uh, bit of something for their lunch. I have got one of these because I'm almost out of mine, sunflower oil spray. I don't use much kind of pouring in oil when I'm cooking. I find this is kind of a lighter option, doesn't make the food too greasy and it works really nicely. For when we do fajitas, I have got some refried beans for the side. Now these taste amazing and really kind of zhuzh up your fajitas. My husband doesn't like them. He thinks they look like dog poo, which is nice, but I think they're delicious and we're having them for that. And then I've got some red kidney beans for when I do a chili, which I only had chili last night, so that won't be for a bit, but I needed some of those in the cupboard. And then I've got some baked beans for uh, when we're doing a super easy jacket potato cheese and beans kind of night. And then I've got wraps. I've got a lot of packs of wraps, four packs of wraps, because sometimes on the weekend the children prefer wraps to bread. Um, and also they go for fajitas, they go for enchiladas, and Zara certainly generally prefers a wrap to a bread roll or a sandwich during the week. Um, I've got bread for toasting. I might actually just stick this directly in the freezer because um, it's often it's easy, just as easy to toast bread from frozen, and we generally tend to only have toast on the weekends, so I might just shove that straight in the freezer. Then we've got some scotch pancakes, which the children like as a treat for some breakfast. It's not every day, but every now and again. And then we have got two boxes of Cheerios because my backup box is gone. So I've got one to use and one as backup. And then we've got Weetabix, which I think that's a backup box. And then we've got more rice because we do go through rather a lot of rice. I do rice on the side of curry, chili, 
uh, sweet and sour, just lots and lots of things to do with rice. And then we've got double strength orange squash. As we know, I like to keep this in my fridge jug. I have two of these fridge jugs. I will link them below, they're brilliant. Just put a tiny bit of squash in the bottom of the jug and then fill it up, keep it lovely and cold in the fridge and then that goes on the table at meal times. It's not at meal time, the children just have water, but they are allowed no added sugar squash at the table with meals and I drink loads of that. I find I more like to drink that, especially when it's nice and cold, than I am to drink water to keep hydrated through the day. Then we've got this, which I would never drink in a million years and I have not bought for a while, but my husband and the children requested it. They actually requested raspberry, but there wasn't an option to buy raspberry in Tesco online, so I bought strawberry and that is so that they can have milkshakes. Now over here, I guess we're going slightly, don't judge me, but they're kind of side meal accompaniment. We've got plain papa doms to go on the side of curry. We've got tortilla chips to go on the side of chili, uh, enchiladas or uh, fajitas. And then we've got prawn crackers to go on the side of sweet and sour chicken with noodles and rice. Moving across to uh, kind of toiletries, I guess. Now, as you know, if you've been watching my home renovation series, I am looking for and have now found a hand soap dispenser that screws to the wall in our new bathroom. I'm really pleased with that and I will be able to buy soap in bulk and then just refill it so less packaging and everything but for now we don't have refillable ones here so I'm still buying these until we move. These were on offer so I bought this scent. I love this scent. It smells amazing and I know it says eco refill system but they never have that offered as an online Tesco option so I haven't bought the, that option. Then we've got these two were on offer. These both smell absolutely amazing too. You squirt a bit of those in the shower and it just smells divine. So that really cheers me up, having a nice smell in the shower. And then the child's farm was on offer this week, so we've got some bubble bath and some hair and body wash. I actually don't use it on their hair. I use the child's farm actual shampoo on their hair, uh, but you know, why not? I use it sort of on their body, so that's fine. Then I've got one pack of ibuprofen and one pack of paracetamol just for the cupboard, for headaches, aches and pains. Always good to have that in stock and some grown-up toothpaste for us. I always buy just whichever one's on offer, really, not too loyal to brands or types or anything. So that's the one that was on offer today. And then Method. Oh, my Method. This was on offer of £4.50 instead of £9. Bargain! Love this stuff. I just use like a little cap full of this in the load. And then I save the old caps because once I've, I've, I pull the cap full, and empty it into the drawer. Then I throw the cap with the gunge from here in it into the machine and then put an old cap back on so you don't end up with like a buildup of gunge and muck and mank. So that's quite a good tip. On to dry shampoo. I do live on dry shampoo. You know, I'm far too lazy to wash my hair as much as I should. So I dry shampoo it before I go to bed. I actually spray it in the shower because if I spray it in the shower, it doesn't, I don't get like a fine layer of dust over my whole bathroom. It just is on the shower screen and then I shower that off when I'm actually in the shower. So I spray it before bed and it does go a bit white, but then by the morning it's worked its way through. My hair looks clean even if it is not. So I believe they were on three for two. I will check that and put it on screen now. And then behind here we have got six boxes of tissues because our house is like a snot factory at the moment. It's that time of year where everyone's got a cold all the time. I also want to leave some tissues over the new house because I am over there every afternoon while Zara's in school now and some in my car and just generally everywhere because my children are like, I need a tissue, I've got snot. And then we reach my don't judge me section. So we've got this uh, Tesco Finest Pinot. I think I've said before, we used to buy the Oyster Bay because my husband would drink that. He's really fussy with wine. He likes this one. And this one, I think, was reduced from seven down to six pounds a bottle, which is quite a bargain, because the Oyster Bay is always more than that. And the one I know he'll always really drink is Sancerre, but that's really expensive. That's about 15 quid a bottle, so he's having a laugh if we can buy that all the time. But this, on a date night, we will go through a bottle, bottle, you know, and a bit maybe, between the two of us on a Friday night. Um, and then I've got, I've got some kind of backups, because I've, I've got to say, Right now, you may be shocked, we're totally out of wine. Until this arrived, we had no wine in the house, which is very upsetting. Then behind here, we've got my Diet Coke, which, I mean, there's, there's 24 in here. That will last me quite a while. I haven't bought this for a while. I do like a can of Diet Coke. I don't let the children drink it. My husband thinks it's poison, 
but I like it. It's my thing. Don't judge me. Leave me alone. Then we've got mini rolls. I will take or leave the mini roll, but my family love them. Um, and it's got to be the ones with jam in them, otherwise they don't think they're real mini rolls. And I think they were on offer today, so I bought them. Now this Uber sack, I mean, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Look how many are in there. 30 bags of crisps. But I'm sending that over to the new house for my husband who wants snacks while he's working. He's got various tradespeople in and out of the house, electricians and things. So that's going over to the new house. As are these biscuits, because these biscuits are a bargain. They work out really cheap. Something like 11 p per 100 grams. And they're perfectly nice biscuits. They're the same biscuits they sell separately, but when you buy them in this massive bundle, and they are like, you can't tell from here, but they are kind of individually wrapped inside, so you can open that and you've still just got the separate biscuits and they work out a lot cheaper. And then we've got Galaxy. Now I do love a ripple. You know I love a ripple. But lately I've been a bit upset that my ripples have been so battered that they kind of crumble as soon as I open them and I don't want to have to eat my food over the sink. So I've got, I've switched, I've switched it up to these bars which make less mess all over the place. So taking a look at how much we spent, this was a much bigger shop than normal. As you can see, I've bought doubles of a lot of things and I've really stocked up. This shop came to 186.72, yowza. But anyway, we have got a lot of things. There were deals in there as well, so it should have been more than that again. I didn't actually need the method laundry, for example, but I bought it because it was on offer. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. You wanna watch my latest video? It's just over here, and more shop with me, hauls, that kind of thing, are just down here. See you guys soon, bye.